Hey guys, if you don't already know, it's Kaz Mataz, you call me Kaz. Hope you guys are doing well today, and if not, hopefully I can bring you good spirits and good vibes. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome here. Today's video is going to be a empties video, specifically my skincare empties. So if you'd like to see, then stay tuned. This video is very long awaited because I've already recorded this like for time to charm I guess. I don't know but after this I'm just gonna be like okay I'm done like I need to get rid of these products because not only is this like a year, a year and a half, almost two years worth of empty. First product I have is gonna be the Elf Holy Hydration Moisturizer. This has hydro or no, it's the Elf Holy Hydration Hydro Gel Moisturizer with hyaluronic acid and peptides. As you can see, I love this moisturizer. I would repurchase this moisturizer clearly and I'd recommend this moisturizer for anybody because I feel like it really does help with my skin barrier. It moisturizes and it goes right into the skin. It just it drinks it right up. I believe that this is just like a good moisturizer for normal, oily, and dry skin. Especially for the spring, summer season. Can't go wrong. The next product I have is the Beauty Stat Universal, Universal C Skin Refiner, all skin types, 20% vitamin C, L-absorbic acid, brightens, retexturizes, and firms. So I do love this product, but the product comes with a hefty price tag. This thing is $80 a container. It's vitamin C. So for that reason, I would not repurchase. And I wouldn't recommend, just because that's not most people's budget. The next product is the Equate Beauty Compared to CeraVe Facial Foaming Cleanser. This stuff, I have bought countless of these, okay? This is so affordable. I think it's like $7. It used to be like, I think $4. But it's gone up because of inflation. But this is such a basic cleanser, but it does the job. It's a nice foaming cleanser. It really does cleanse the skin without stripping the skin. So I would recommend this too for a beginner or just anybody, you know, looking to add a simple step in their skincare. The product I have is the Pacifica 100% Vegan Cruelty Free Sea Foam Complete Facial Wash. Removes makeup, cleanse and tones, coconut water, and with sea algae complex. This is for all skin types. Guys, this is like the most amazing face wash I've ever used. I would buy it just for the fragrance. Um, and it's also not even like bad fragrance. It's, you know, fragrance with like essential oils and things like that. Cause this is a, like a clean beauty brand and it smells amazing. I love this product. I'd repurchase this product and I'd recommend this product. Another product is the Cleanse Soothe Treat. T and Dickinson's Witch Hazel 100% Natural Stringent for Face and Body, Gently Gentle Relief for Oily, Irritated, Red, Damaged, Blemish, and Irritated Skin. This just did the job. I'd say I like this product. Um, would I repurchase if I needed it? Yeah. Would I recommend? Yeah. You know, if you have blemishes, you need something to calm your skin, this is a good basic step. Um, this is like one of those really, really old products that you just can't go wrong. Witch Hazel, like you can use it for so many things. I actually don't have two of the same thing. They're very close. One's rose water and glycerin, and one's just rose water. But it's by the same company. It's the hair store. Um, rose water, one, like I said, with glycerin, one without. I love this product. I think it really does 
hydrate and plump the skin and I would repurchase and I would recommend I think I do prefer the one with the glycerin though just because it does sit well under makeup with the glycerin but I will say for the hotter months maybe not so much <laughs> but yeah this is an OG product it is the bliss makeup melt the dry wet gentle jelly cleansing or cleanser with rose flower this thing this thing this product i probably used it since like 2015 um and it's so affordable compared to other cleansers like jelly cleansers or like makeup removers i don't know what it is about that like makeup removers that are like oil based or like a balm they're so expensive but this one at the time it's around 10 something maybe 12 something if i'm not mistaken it was from target i think they have it at walmart now too but yeah i do love this product i would repurchase this product and i would recommend this product so if you're looking for something to do your first step so you just apply it dry or wet to remove your makeup and then you go in with your foaming cleanser this is a good bang for your buck and then another product is the super aqua cell renew snail cleansing foam for clean for cleansing and skin comfort a foaming cleanser thoroughly removes excess oil and purities refreshes and moisturizes the rich fine texturized foam keep skin feeling moisturized after cleansing this brand is misha i'd say i like this product would i repurchase probably not i probably wouldn't go out of my way to get this product it's nothing outstanding um i did get it on iherb just wanted to try it and would i recommend maybe not like i said because it's not very um what's the word it's not easy to get your hands on like it's what is the word easy accessible your local drugstore or whatever you couldn't you'd have to go on iherb to get it so for that reason i probably wouldn't repurchase or recommend it and we have the black girl sunscreen moisturizes sunscreen lotion moist okay i need to slow down moisturizing sunscreen lotion for face and body 30 percent broad spectrum spf 30 infused with a whole butt avocado water resistant 80 minutes ultra share no white residue fragrance free i'd say i like this product i wouldn't recommend and i probably wouldn't repurchase just because i found something that's better and i do believe that we should have at least 50 um spf 30 is not quite enough at least where i'm from texas it's not enough so maybe for people that don't have as much sun in their city maybe um but for someone in texas i think in like you know the hotter states we need something at least 50 percent right but this is a good sunscreen um maybe for just the body and it obviously doesn't have a white cast so you're not casket ready or anything but yeah black girl sunscreen. and that i believe is just at target then we have the milky wear 90 percent olive oil cleansing oil so this is something i got on iherb i love this product i would repurchase this product because i have multiple times i don't know why i only just have one and i would recommend this product just because there's so many fluid ounces this thing lasts me at least three to four months and for what its purpose like it's just totally worth it it's about 12 bucks 12 13 bucks and it's a makeup like not makeup it's a oil cleanser so to remove your makeup first step this i love this stuff because once again this is something that for some reason anywhere you go this is very expensive like um oil cleansers makeup removers things like that but this is a good bang for your buck so if you have any like questions about it like if you want to know the details i can like just comment down below and i can help you out there because that doesn't have a brand so I would have to like send you the link on iHerb or whatever. And then we have the Beauty Dasan Relief Sunrise Probiotics SPF 50. This stuff is amazing. If you don't already know, 
about this you must be living under a rock because it has gone viral and it has gone viral for a reason it's probably the best SPF I've tried it goes so well under makeup it doesn't leave a white cast and it just looks good on the skin and clearly I love the product I repurchased the product because I have probably I don't know how many tubes and I'd recommend this product and they also have their website so you can check to make sure it is authentic because there is so many false what do you call it like unauthentic tubes of these because you know people are just trying to make their money you know everything has like a fake so you can what you do is when you get your tube you scan it on their their app and you can make sure it's authentic so yeah but this stuff it's really not that expensive either it probably lasts me i use it just mainly for my face so i'd say i use it a sunscreen every day so i'd say maybe roughly probably two to three months if this tube blasts me so i think it's worth it we have the simple kind to skin replenishing rich moisturizer 12 hour moisturization this i'd say i like this product it did the job right wouldn't repurchase and wouldn't recommend it just because simple is more and more harder to find i don't know what happened but this used to be one of those brands i used like in high school middle school and then they just kind of like discontinued a lot of their things like I, I remember loving the cleanser they had and i just needed a moisturizer one day so i just got this one but i don't know what happened with this company but it was a good company while it lasted but yeah the bubble solar mate daily mineral sunscreen broad spectrum spf 40 this is a flat out no i just like this product i would not repurchase this product i would not recommend this product this is marketed towards everyone right but it gives you the worst white cast your casket ready with this like if you want to be casket ready then get this sunscreen i do not recommend I used it up because I wasn't about to waste my money because it was like $15. But if you're someone that doesn't, especially if you don't wear makeup and you just put SPF on, this is, especially you have any kind of color to your skin, this is not going to work. No. I don't, this is a flat out no. No. Yeah, no. We have the Holy Hydration Daily Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid, Hope with Seed Oil, and Vitamin E. I like this product. I would repurchase this product and I'd recommend this product. This is the from the same line as the Holy Hydration um, Gel Moisturizer that I have. This is just more of like a thicker consistency. I'd say this is more for like a fall, winter um, moisturizer. Um, but yeah, this works really good. And then we have, I actually have another one. And this is the Elf Holy Hydration Face Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. And once again, I love this product. I would recommend this product and I'd repurchase. This is something, like I said, for fall, winter. And we have the Probiotics and Superfoods Tula Skin Care So Smooth Resurfacing and brightening enzyme mask guys this i just feel like it changed my skin when i used it and i actually got it in a boxy charm and i even said in that video that i'd repurchase this i just haven't got around to it but this stuff works so good i just wish it wasn't so expensive but yes i love this product i would repurchase and i'd recommend i would you know break the bank for this product just because I really do think it just overall improved the appearance the texture and like the dark spots that I had and it's so gentle because there's so many glycolic masks out there that can be very just stripping to the face but this one doesn't I just love it but yeah then we have the De La Cruz acne treatment with 10% sulfur, max, maximum strength. I don't know if it's, I don't even know if it's focusing on these products, guys, but I love this product. I would repurchase and I would recommend. This stuff is like $2 on iHerb. And for those of you that don't react well with salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide, 
this is the way to go. Sulfur is the way to go for your zits. And for me, benzoyl peroxide worked better, but I did notice it does bleach like your clothes, your towels, things like that, your sheets, all that. So this is just the other product. This is the other side of the spectrum, I guess, because it doesn't bleach anything and it, you know, obviously com combats the pimples that you have. And yeah, it smells horrible, but it works. It does the job and it's so affordable. This is the Advanced Clinics Vitamin C Anti-Aging Serum, Dermatologist and Allergy Tested. Vitamin C targets dark spots, uneven tone and expression lines. Promotes a firmer looking complexion. For leucal, for 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 I think, acid supports a luminous youthful radiance. This is an amazing product for the price. This is really affordable. I can't remember exactly how much it costs, but got this on iHerb. I know it's at Walmart. Like, you can get this if you need it. If you want to target your doctor's parts, your uneven skin tone, your expression lines, just overall appearance, this is a good product. I recommend getting it on iHerb just because it is more affordable. I think, obviously, depending on where you get it from, they can kind of rank up the price. But this also changed my skin for the better, which is why I kind of was like, I'm not going to buy that $8 tube of vitamin C. I just get this one. But this stuff works amazing. It does wonders. I definitely recommend. This is the Candelula. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. No, Caludium. No, Caludio. Okay, you know what? I need to look up how to say this because... Okay, so it's called Calendula. Forest Garden Deep Cleansing Oil Purifying Blackhead Care. So this is another oil cleanser. I like this oil cleanser. I would recommend an eye purchase. This is worth going out of your way to get because it has Calendula. Halloween, I, I still don't know how to say it. It has this herb in it, right? This herb does wonders for anybody with problematic skin. I just love it. And then we have the Blow Recipe Plump, Plump Hyaluronic Acid Cream, Dewy Moisture Plump. This stuff is amazing. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. I do love it. I would repurchase if I could and I'd recommend anything from Glow Recipe because it just does the skin good. It there's I haven't heard anything about Glow Recipe, like anything bad about Glow Recipe and what it does for people's skin. It's all good, good reviews. Then we have the Andula Naturals Avia Coco Skin Mask Age Defy. I dislike this product. I wouldn't repurchase and I wouldn't recommend. What are you doing? I'm going over here. Andalou Naturals Avo Coco Skin Food Mask. H Defy. So I do not like this product. I dislike this product. I would not repurchase and I would not recommend. I don't know what it is, but it's like things that are like age defying or whatever i guess it just isn't for 20 plus range or whatever it just doesn't it does it's like it almost dries your skin out which i think is weird because i feel like when you get that age what do you need more moisture in your skin because that's when like things aren't as supple so i don't know why it seems like everything that's age defying is so drying maybe because it's like trying to exfoliate or something and it like strips the natural oil that you need. I don't know, but I just wouldn't buy this product again, okay? This is a no. Then we have the Hyaluronic Acid Intense Cream by CrossRx, formulated with hyaluronic acid. This intensive cream helps to deeply moisturize and nourish your skin. This stuff is so good. CrossRx doesn't do us wrong, if you haven't noticed already. like. All their skincare is just really good. I believe it's all Korean skincare. So, 
Korean skincare is supposed to be the best skincare. I love this product. I would repurchase and I'd recommend. This is definitely one of those moisturizers that I'd use after like doing like an intense mask, like exfoliating mask or just like if your skin just needs an extra hydration before you go to bed, this is it right here. Then we have the Sika Creamy Foam Cleanser by Cross RX. This, I like this product. I would repurchase and I might recommend. It's not easy accessible and I know you could probably get something very similar in the drugstore. That's why I wouldn't necessarily recommend, but it is by Cross RX. So it's definitely one of those um, invigorating type cleansers on your face like you can definitely feel like it cleansing it's very invigorating and it feels really good and tingly on the skin so yeah then we have the andaluva i don't even know if i'm saying that right pumpkin honey glycolic mask it's a brightening mask i like this product i'd repurchase and i'd recommend this probably i used to buy this like way back when like years ago and it's a glycolic mask so I love this stuff it's really good it's quite gentle on the, the skin too so yeah once again this is from iHerb I wish I was sponsored by iHerb that'd be nice this stuff is kind of gross because this stuff is so old guys like oh my gosh talk about like saving stuff Ugh, it's all gunky but this is the Kroger brand sunscreen invisible gel sunscreen and it's SPF 40 broad spectrum it's supposed to be compared to the super goop sunscreen I love this sunscreen like I was fairly surprised when I used it I would repurchase and I'd recommend this is definitely way more affordable than super goop so if you want something that is almost the same as super goop at a fraction of the price I would recommend this if there's a Cobra near you then another sunscreen is the Alba, Botani Alba Botanica Hawaiian Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Green Tea. This is another OG product of mine that I used way back when and probably one of the first good sunscreens that I tried. It goes so beautifully under makeup. I remember I used to get so many compliments on my makeup at work when I would wear this under my makeup. And it was affordable. I feel like it's gone up like quite a bit, but I think it also depends on where you get it from. Um, but yes, I love this product. I would repurchase this product and I would recommend. Oh, and it smells pretty good too. Then we have the Mighty Patch, the original. I love this product. I would purchase and I would recommend. This, it, it just, there's nothing compared to it, okay? Because it keeps you from picking your pimples. If you popped your pimple, it helps just absorb all the, that extra stuff out of it. You know, once you put it on at night, it's just, it's innovative, okay? Like, I know back when um, people started to use like those, um, what is it called? It was like these blister band-aids for those zits, which those are quite big. Like if you don't have like really, really big patches of acne, that's not really, I guess, ideal. But these ones are little tiny ones. What is it? Hydrocloid patches? Yeah. They're little tiny um, patches that you put on your zits and it comes with multiple sizes. And yeah, I just love these. And I say that saying that not all of them are made the same because this one's supposed to be by Cross RX. This is the Acne Pimple Master Patch. It's supposed to be another hydrocoid patch. But for whatever reason, these do not stay on your face. Okay, they don't stay on your face. Okay, not only that, they're super tiny. So honestly, like most zits aren't gonna fit underneath this. So yeah, I don't know if it's authentic. Maybe that's why. I mean, I got it on iHerb. Everything on iHerb is authentic. So it just doesn't work for me. My pimples are too big for this. So 
I just like this product. I would not repurchase this product and I would not recommend. I would definitely, this, this is the one you need right here. So yeah, that was it folks. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. <sighs> guys, when I tell you I have so many empties, this is just part one. So I'm probably gonna do most likely three or four parts to this because there's just so many products. I thought I could sit down and do a whole video of all the empties I had, but no, there's just too many. Like, I don't know anybody that's gonna sit through it. So yeah, we're just gonna stick with the parts of each category. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions and and you need any guidance with anything skincare related, please feel free to comment down below. I'd be more than happy to help anyone. And yeah, that was it folks. We'll see you guys later. Bye.